Hi, this is Edward Cabrera, the online marketing sensei here in Manassas, Virginia. I just finished reading this great book called The Go-Giver by Bob Berg and John David Mann. Very interesting story. Uh, very short book, very small. Uh, could be read in an afternoon, about 125 pages, and about a story of how a mentor teaches this businessman how to become successful on how to become a successful businessman through five what he calls stratospheric successes or five laws of success. And the first law was the law of value. And I've heard this many times from a lot of network marketers that give back. Don't always be think, don't always think of getting. Don't always think of getting this guy to join your business or anything else. Think about um, what can you give that person? What is that person really looking for? How can you help them? Now, of course, we always think that, you know, that helping them develop a business and everything else and making money is, is helping them. It may be, but then again, you know, I mean, that's up to the individual is what is important to them and what do they need. The second law is the law of compensation. The law of compensation is like in network marketing, the more people you affect, the more people you give value to, the greater your compensation will be. So developing organizations and putting out your information, if you have something of value, give it. Give it freely, give it to as many people as you can so that, again, uh, the more people you affect, the greater the, the compensation will be. The third law is the law of influence. Now, a lot of times we think of influence, you know, I mean, we can think of influence as a positive thing or a negative thing, you know, we can, but we as network marketers are trying to influence people in a positive way. But the influence that we're talking about is not about moving them or directing them in a particular way. No, it's about what is important to them. Get, uh, find out what, how can you help them? What is their main, uh, uh, place their interests first. What are their interests? What are their needs? What do they want? What do they? What are they looking for? So ask questions about what you know. What it is that um, that, uh, that that they basically are, are are in search of. The next law is the law of authenticity. Big word. Um, how to be authentic? How to be you? Be unique. Be the person that you are. Don't try to put on a facade of um, uh, being something that you're not. Don't try to fake it, like they say, fake it before you make it. You know, don't fake it, be who you are, be unique and uh, be original. And the last law is the law of receptivity, of receiving. Now, we always, uh, we always believe that, or I used to believe anyway, that um, it's better to give than to receive. But you have to remember that when you give, you are receiving something, you are receiving satisfaction, you are receiving some kind of feeling of, of giving, you know, of course, you know, we used to say, you know, you don't give so that you can get, you don't, you don't give with that intention of, well, I'm giving you something so you owe me and you should, and you should, you know, reciprocate that way. No, this is about, um, this is about giving and being open to getting because just like you feel satisfaction and happiness and, and something good about giving, then when someone gives you, you should have the same feelings, you know, of them, you know, being open to them giving you, right? Right? Because they you they, they have to get that same sensation of giving you, so you don't want to uh, negate them of that feeling. I mean, the world itself revolves around the fact that you take in oxygen and you give out carbon dioxide. The plants all around you take the carbon dioxide, give back oxygen to you. So it's uh, you know it's a cycle, and you have to be open to give as well as to get. So those are the quick laws. It was a great story, and, and he he really outlined it really nicely and very quickly. So if you get a chance, take a look at it. Okay, this is Edu Cabrero, the online marketing sensei, signing off in Manassas, Virginia.